This video is sponsored by JJ Drones, the droning veteran, chilling in Indiana Carl, and fishing with Brant. <laughs> Welcome back to Off the Hook Outdoors. I'm Ted, your host. Today I'm going out for the first time on my lake and we're going to do some bass fishing for the Shane Flint tournament. Um, if you haven't checked out my live, I have two live streams. Unfortunately, the first one yesterday I had a little glitch. My screen kept shutting off. So the second one I caught uh, some nice bass, some nice smallmouth on it. Uh, I got on a board with a 19 and a quarter. So uh, if you guys haven't checked out Shane Flint outdoors, you're gonna to want to go check him out. He runs great tournaments. He's a great fisherman. He has a great channel. So go check out Shane Flint Outdoors on YouTube. Uh, I'll leave his description or his channel in the description of my video. Uh, but we're loading the boat up right now. I'm only gonna take out about nine rods today. Um, and we're gonna to try to get on some small moth and maybe uh, some large moth. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so we're out on the water, um, and yesterday, like I said, I caught some smallmouth, just dead sticking like a wacky style rig, black and blue flake, uh, wacky style, slow. Um, they weren't real active last night, but it was really windy. It was really chilly. Uh, we got the water temperature right now at 62 degrees, 62.1. So we're probably gonna do the same approach. The sun is out. Last Yesterday, it was a little bit uh, cloudy, uh, but the temperature right now is 63 degrees, water temperature 62.1. Uh, it's about 8.15 right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get to it. I'm going to start out with the, uh, with the wacky style and see if we can't get something for the Shane Flint tournament. Stay tuned. Pretty excited. All right, guys. Once again, I'm going to, like I said, start off with the wacky style dead sticking through here. Uh, just slow. And very tedious, but they're, that's how they're biting. That's how I found them last night. Uh, so we're going to work this point this morning. Uh, we're going to definitely hit some other spots of the lake. Uh, today I'm going to go actually check the lake for also weeds, where the weeds are growing and everything like that. Like I said, this is my first weekend up here on the lake. So uh, I'm going to take you around the lake and show you basically how I try to find fish. Um, I'll go spot the weeds I'll, i have my frog rod i may throw a few frogs the sun's up so you know they may hit on top water but like i said the water's 62 degrees 
so it isn't perfect temperatures yet. But I'm gonna throw this wacky style on my St. Croix Legend Tournament with my Shimano Stratic 25 H HD. HG, I'm sorry, HG. So uh, we're gonna uh, get at it right now. All right guys, well, I've been throwing for about a half an hour. I threw an X-Wrap and I also threw a drop shot. Uh, it's a little windy for a drop shot. It's wind gusts out of the west at about 22 miles an hour. So this point is really windy. So we're gonna stick on this point for a little bit. Uh, with this uh, wacky style again, I went back to that because uh, that's where I had my success last night. And um, we'll fish here for a while and then we're gonna start heading around the lake and seeing what we can find. Stay with me. <clears throat> Missed them guys. Had one little hit. That was probably one of them small bluegill or rock bass ticking at the, uh, the end of the worm there. So, well, we got some action. Here's one, guys. All right, little one, but we got them. <laughs> so they're at the edge of this point here, guys. So we're gonna. Uh, this is a baby, little eight incher, but we're on the board. Look at that thing. Right there, guys. It will make him look real big. <laughs> All right, we'll let him go. All right, well, we're on the board. Let's try this point right here where this rock pile is. That's where I caught him, him off of. Looked like a male. Small. All right. We'll be back. All right, there's a good one, guys. Good one. Real good one. All right, let's see. Eh, he ain't that big. <laughs> Thought he was a lot bigger, but he's he's a fighter for sure. All right, don't go under the boat. Don't go under the boat. Get out of there. Let's see if I can't boat. Yeah, I'm gonna boat flip him. Oh, he got off. He's about a 14 incher. He got off though. But right under, there's a rock pile right here, guys. Man, I love when they hit like that. All right, we're gonna throw it back out there. See if we can't get another one. But this, that's like I said, just just keep pounding your areas. Just slow, slow, slow right now. Water 62 degrees. They're not hitting top water. They're not hitting jerk baits right now. Um, but they are slowly hitting this dead stick wacky rig. So well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually hit another spot too after after I hit this point really well and cover this whole point here. I might even put another, I might even put a tube on, but a smaller tube. Uh, but that, that thing hit like it was a 20 incher. It was only like maybe 14. So I just wanted to give you a little tip here. Uh, when it's real windy out, when you're fishing in the wind, uh, see on my rod tip, I have my rod tip up in here. The, the wind will blow your line and pull your bait. So uh, a tip that I have is lower your rod tip and keep it down at about waist high, straight out at you. It keeps the wind from blowing it as much. And also you gotta really pay attention when you're doing this with the uh, wacky style is watch your line. Your line will have a bow in it, but if, the, but if it gets slack real quick or it ticks and jumps, you know there's a fish and try to reel your line up and just get it tight enough where you could feel that look with the rod, the tip of your rod load up a little bit and then just give it a nice hook set and you should be good to go. All right, so I threw this uh, Rage Crawl, black and blue flag. I had one hit, it actually ripped the claw off. So that's something to take note of, uh, the crayfish. Uh, so maybe they're feeding on a crayfish, we'll see. Uh, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit another point over here, another rocky point. So we're gonna load up and we're gonna head over to there and we'll be right back. Here we go guys, there's a nice one. This 
this is the, this is a real nice one, guys. Boom. Let me get my uh, pliers out of here. There you go. Nice fish. Awesome. Release them. All right. That's what we want. Stay with me. All right, so caught that fish right off of this point. And there's rocks, as you, I don't know if you can see that. I'll show it to you in a little bit here. But uh, this point's usually pretty good with the rocks. There's a person fishing over there on the other side where I usually catch them. So I came over here and figured throw these rocks and it, and it paid off. So we'll be right back. Good one here, guys. Here's another good one. Yeah, this is a pretty good. Another good one here, guys. There we go. All right, let's get this out of here. I'll show you guys in a second here, but they're on them rocks. Definitely on the rocks. Another one, guys. It's about 14. Let him go. Something just hit it. See if it comes back. This is where I caught my PB last year. So we're gonna keep throwing this point here because I'm getting hits. So that wind is killer though. But we're gonna keep at it guys. So stay with me. Hopefully we have a lot more catches for you. So I want to show you guys something here. And that bank right there, see the trees right here? The wind's blowing this way into this and see this point right here and all the rock the wind's blowing against this and they're right off of this point here all in here is where the fish are so just giving you an idea of what i'm fishing all right we'll be right back there's another one guys all right this one feels a little better he's nice definitely nice let me put the anchor down here. Yeah, it's a nice one. Hang around that point. There's another one, guys. I'm gonna get a release here for you guys. All right, nope, they're nailing it off at this point. This is where I'm gonna stay for a while. <laughs> Let's get it in here. Get it on this side. Get them in the boat. There we go. Another one. Nothing real big for the Shane Flint tournament yet, but here's 
Oh, I'm falling. <laughs> I fell over. There you go, guys. Let him go. All right, so I'm taking a little break here. I just anchored off at that point. Um, as you can see, I'm catching a ton of fish. I don't even know how many I caught right now. Um, I've been fishing for about an hour, hour and a half. But I was fishing over there where I was uh, catching them yesterday. And t this morning, nothing, but I moved over to another point. The wind is blowing into that rock face and they're stacked up there. So, uh, and like I said, I'm just using the wackier style, wacky rig, black and blue flake with an O-ring and a uh, Gamakatsu wide gap hook. And that's all I'm doing. I'm throwing, it. it's tough fishing with the wind. It's all about boat control, where you're putting the boat at. Because when you're throwing the line out, the wind's pulling it. And if you throw it, if I, I seem like I'm throwing it into the wind and it's drifting back to me, <coughs> excuse me, and I can keep the line fairly straight and I could feel hits a little better. But if you're off to the side and you're throwing it up and you have a big loop in your line, it's pulling that bait and it's like not, not like a natural fall. It's almost like fly fishing. It's pulling your bait through there. Uh, you can get hits like that, but the majority of your hits are going to come when you have a nice natural fall with your wacky rig. So that's just something to take in consideration whenever you're out there and it's windy. Uh, set up your boat according to what, you know, your line and your rod and everything like that. A lot of people don't think about that. They just go out and throw anywhere. But it's all about like boat positioning and where you're casting and like, you know, in your line. So uh, take that in consideration next time you're out on the water and I hope that helps you out. Uh, but I'm gonna get back to fishing here in a second, so stay tuned. There's another one. Good one here, guys. Real nice fish. Oh, he didn't want to get in the net. He ain't in the net yet. There we go. He's in the net now, guys. Very nice. I'm going to measure him. Let's see what he looks like. Let me get this out of his lip. Perfect hook right in the top. Come on. Yeah, I'm not gonna measure him. He's only 16. Nice fish, though. Yes. All right, so we got to another spot. Now I wanted to get that, get this one in, and we're gonna try this spot here for a little bit, guys, and then we're gonna uh, head in. <clears throat> but yeah, pretty good day so far. A lot of nice fish, but nothing big, big. So uh, we're gonna hit this rock wall here and then uh we'll see what happens so stay with me uh, i missed them oh i had one on top water guys i had one on a whopper plopper but he got off wasn't uh real big but i got him in a shallow using a black whopper plopper so we're gonna i made a long cast so i didn't get a real good hook set but we're gonna see if i can uh maybe we'll get something on this uh whopper plopper all right, so I went down that uh, bank there with all the rocks. I did have one hit on a top water, but uh, I ran into some pads up here, some sporadic ones that are not really uh, full yet, but I'm gonna throw my, uh, I'm gonna put a frog on. So what I'm using is my Abu Garcia Beast X Reel, all-star rod, and uh, I'm gonna put up a Spro Frog on here. So once I tie it up, we'll be right back. All right, so I put the Spro Frog on. It's uh, sky blue and white because it's kind of bright out. I'm using the Sunline Frog and then Flipping Line, 50 pound, and I'm tying a Palomar knot into that. And then we're gonna go ahead and see what happens, guys. Stay tuned. All right, so I threw the frog for about 15 minutes. No luck. Um, I just think the water's too cold. They're not active. Large mouth are just hunkered down. So we're gonna try to end this video on a good note. So we're gonna go back over to that point and try to get another small mouth in the boat. Stay with me. Yeah, there's one. Nice one, guys. Hold on, 
I'm gonna get the nut for this one. There we go. And the net, guys. I don't even know how many that is today. But I wanted to end it on a good note, so. Perfect hook set, right in the top of the mouth. Easy to get out. And there you go, guys. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, if you have been following me, I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, make a comment, share me out. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and head in now. Thank you, and we will see ya.